Hi, the purpose of this video KB is to show you how to register the Salesforce plugin and it is applicable to both Power Exchange for Salesforce.com 8.x and 9.x. Here I will show you the location of the SFTC plugin, steps to register the plugin including the commands to execute and the reason why we need to re-register the Salesforce plugin sometimes. Salesforce plugin is a native plugin so we cannot register it from admin console. It needs to be registered from command prompt of the server where PowerCenter is installed. The prerequisite to use the salesforce.com is to install the PowerCenter and to have the salesforce.com license. To verify if the license is there or not, go to the admin console, select the license, uh, select the options tab and under the connections you should see the power exchange for salesforce.com. The salesforce.com plugin is located on the server where power center is installed. It is under the home directory slash server slash bin slash native here you should see a pmsfdc.xml file and this is the plugin for salesforce.com now we will go through the steps to register the salesforce plugin to register the salesforce plugin the power center repository should be running in the exclusive mode as we connect to the repository to register the salesforce plugin so first log in to administration console select the power center repository and change the operating mode to exclusive and when it prompts for restart select the bot and let it get restarted so for the changes to be effective once the power center repository service is running in the exclusive mode go to the server where power center is installed and go to the server bin directory from here using the pm rep command connect to the power center repository using the uh, command pm rep connect hyphen r repository name hyphen d domain name hyphen n username hyphen x password once the repository is connected make sure that it is connected to repository pc underscore 91 and it's running in the exclusive mode to register the plugin use pm rep register plugin hyphen i uh, installation home directly slash server slash bin slash native slash pmsfdc dot xml hyphen e it is to update the existing plugin and hyphen uppercase n for the native plugin now you should see that it is getting registered Uh, once it is registered, we should see register plugin operation completed successfully. Now go back to the admin console and change the operating mode of the power center repository from exclusive to normal. And again restart the repository service. Now the power exchange for salesforce.com plugin is registered from the server side. On the client side, all we have to do is verify if the if you have the salesforce plugin or not, which you can look from the designer. And this is how it looks like if you have the plugin available. In general the 
Registration of Salesforce plugin is required only after installing the Power Center, but in some cases we need to re-register the Salesforce plugin whenever there is a change in uh, the Salesforce plugin, which is pmsfdc.xml. File uh, example when we upgrade the power center from one version to another version, or when we apply the hotfix, or if there is a SFDC EBF applied, then it is required to re-register the plugin. You can refer to Power Exchange for Salesforce.com user guide for more information, and we also have few cable KBs on how to register the plugin or how to re-register the Salesforce plugin. You can provide us the feedback on support videos at informatica.com or https colon slash slash twitter.com slash infrasupport. Thank you.